Hi everyone, Rusty here from Blue Robotics with a new product update. We haven't done a new product video in a while, but we've been hard at work on a lot of new stuff. Today we've got two new products, a new digital low light camera for the Blue ROV2 and the new Bar 100 pressure sensor. Let's start off with the camera. Up until now, the Blue ROV2 has used the Raspberry Pi camera with a wide angle lens, which works great, but has a few weaknesses that we've noticed. The Raspberry Pi camera has poor low light performance and doesn't handle colors very well in underwater situations. The new low light HD USB camera fixes those problems and has better performance all around. This camera handles colors underwater really well, especially in difficult lighting conditions. Here you can see a comparison shot between the original Raspberry Pi camera and the new low light digital camera in shallow water with low visibility. This new camera uses a third of an inch Sony sensor and has 1080p resolution, maximizing the amount of light that makes it to each physical pixel. That gives it excellent low light handling performance. Here you can see another comparison between the two cameras, this time under relatively poor lighting conditions. In this next example, we are even able to film bioluminescence at a depth of 120 meters. We've been evaluating this camera for a long time, and most of our effort has gone into lens selection. We managed to find a lens with a wide angle of about 80 degrees, but almost no distortion. That provides an excellent picture that can be used directly for filming. The camera also has onboard H.264 compression so that it doesn't add any additional load to your main computer. The camera interfaces via USB and comes with a short USB cable. Starting today, all Blue RLV2s will come with this camera. If you'd like to upgrade your existing Blue RLV2, it's nearly a drop-in replacement. Just make sure to get the new 3D printed camera tilt system out. Next up is an exciting new product that will enable people to go to greater depths, the Bar 100 Depth and Pressure Sensor. The sensor is very similar to our Bar 30 depth and pressure sensor. It's got a similar form factor, also uses I2C communication, and even has the same connector on the end of the cable. The Bar 100, however, as its name implies, can measure pressures up to 100 bar. That's a depth of 1,000 meters. The sensor uses the Keller LD series pressure sensors, which have an oil-filled cavity around the transducer. We've added additional electronics and a penetrator body to make it ready to use on any of our watertight enclosures. The sensor has a communication protocol that's slightly different than the Bar 30 sensor, so we have new Arduino and Python libraries to support it. It's also already supported in ArduSub and ready to use on the Blue RLV2 or any other ArduSub powered vehicle. That's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.